I'm Francisca Vázquez. I'm the director of the Cancer Dependency Map in the Cancer Program at the Brody Institute. Cancer Dead Map is an effort to identify systematically all the cancer vulnerabilities uh, so that we can use this information to identify new therapeutic strategies for cancer patients. Um, we uh, create large-scale data sets with this, and we make this data available for the scientific community uh, and so the data can be utilized to identify new therapeutic opportunities. So, so as director of the Cancer Dependency Map, uh, I work with a very talented team of uh, project managers, experimental scientists, computational scientists, where together we build this uh, large-scale resource that, that we named Cancer Dependency Map, which is the, a preclinical resource to uh, help accelerate precision cancer medicine. Some of the main challenges is that this is a very large-scale project, so it requires a lot of resources, it requires to do work in a very systematic way, uh, we have to build uh, computational tools, we have to build software tools, uh, we it has uh, many, many components, so we need uh, project management, we need uh, software engineers, we need computational biologists. So it's a really, truly multidisciplinary effort. So it requires uh, putting together a team uh, with, with different expertise uh, to, to, to help uh, with different aspects of the project. I think working with a multidisciplinary team is, is, is fascinating and I think it, it's critical for, for projects like this where they have all these multiple components, um, yet each uh, team has a different area of expertise and they have their own language, but I think we, we manage uh, for everybody to, to work together and learn from each other. Uh, in my case, my background is in experimental science. I'm a cancer researcher. My background is in cancer biology, uh, but I feel now I, I can speak with the computational biologists, with the software engineers, uh, and kind of well, we can understand each other. And, uh, it's a huge learning opportunity for everyone involved. International collaboration is key. Uh, again, the, uh, the data, we make the data available, but uh, Everyone around the world is using the data in very creative ways. I, um, I'm always surprised of uh, how many use cases people find uh, for, for dead mapping. Again, very creative way, different ways. Uh, and, and I think that's key. These are very large scale data sets and um, they can be exploited in so many different ways that it, it would not be possible if we were just doing it ourselves. So I think having this great collaboration uh, is, is critical. In addition, other people are also generating data. Um, there's, um, the space is huge. Other, other groups are generating data that then we can bring together, for example, to our portal and, and, and enrich even further uh, this resource. So I, I'm excited for everyone to either use the data or contribute to the data, uh, whether are models, data sets, computational methods, uh, software tools, etc. We have a lot of work to do and uh, I'm excited to discuss some of this uh, here in this setting in the next two days. Um, there's uh, a lot of different aspects of the project that could be expanded from um, developing more uh, models, uh, screening more models, uh, using uh, different types of perturbation. Um, yeah, many different aspects of the project that can be expanded. Uh, and, um, we are looking forward to continue to uh, develop them up and make it even more powerful in the future.